Welcome! This video will show you how to set up your mobile device as a secondary camera to ensure your TOEFL test runs smoothly. This extra camera will be used in addition to the webcam or built-in camera on the computer that you use to take the test. The device you use for the secondary camera must be a fully charged smartphone or tablet with a working camera that runs on, at minimum, iOS 12 or Android 8. You will also need a power adapter or charge cord, a stable internet connection, and a sturdy, heavy object to prop up your phone like a phone stand or empty mug. Your phone support item cannot contain or hide materials, and it should be easy to examine using a camera. You may not use other electronic devices, a homemade cardboard stand, adhesive like tape or putty, or unstable items such as a plastic cup for your support item. Now, let's prepare your device. Make sure it is fully charged and connected to a power outlet. Enable Do Not Disturb mode for everyone, and be sure it stays on Do Not Disturb throughout the test. Also, close all apps and clear notifications. Make sure that the camera is working properly and that the camera lens is clean. Time to connect. After you start the test on your computer, follow the instructions on the screen. When you see the QR code, Open your phone camera, scan the code, and select the website that appears on your phone. When the app opens, allow the app to access your microphone and camera. Next, position your camera correctly. Your phone needs to be horizontal in landscape mode. Place the device on your desk to the right or left. Your camera must capture everything including your entire computer screen, the full keyboard and mouse or trackpad, both hands while typing, and the side of your face. Make sure nothing obstructs the camera's view like a phone charge cord. To check your camera's position, look at the video feed on your computer screen. The proctor will also check your camera's position and approve it. During your test, type naturally and move your hands normally. Feel free to turn your head to view your computer screen and slightly adjust how you're sitting. However, it is important to stay within the camera frame and not stretch beyond it. Also, do not make sudden or big exaggerated movements or block the camera's view. And that's it. Following these steps minimizes misunderstandings and provides clear evidence that protects your integrity and hard work. Good luck.